Hey guys, welcome back to that liminal period. It's your girl, Chun Li Shadi. I came across one of my favorite comedians earlier today, and it reminded me so much of why I enjoy stand up comedy. I love that there are certain comedians that are just able to pinpoint what is wrong with society in a comedic way. And so today I've actually gathered some of my favorite bits. And today we're going to be spotlighting the differences between men and women. And I didn't write these jokes, but I definitely co-sign what these comedians are saying. So the first one we're going to check out is going to be Jeff Dye. So without further ado, let's get into it. Men and women aren't equal. I'm sorry if that hurts your little stupid ears. <laughs> We're not, we're not equal. Because equal means the word same. We're not the same. We should be paid equal. We should have equal rights. We should have equal, uh, we should be treated with equal respect. Those things should be equal, but we're not the same. In fact, that's my favorite thing about a woman is that she's not a dude. <laughs> Quit pretending we're the same. I don't walk around, I could have a baby if they'd let me. I can't. <laughs> we're not the same. People try to make it, we, 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 we're equal, we're equal, I want it to be equalized. No, you don't. When any one of you got a babysitter tonight, how many of you picked a dude? <laughs> None of you. Not because you're sexist, but because you're not dumb. <laughs> how many of you feminists were like, no, let's get a guy so it's equal this time? None of you. Because <laughs> the baby would fall off the f***ing balcony and... <laughs> You'd be like, why was the baby on the balcony? He's like, I don't know, I came out to smoke. And you're like, what, what are we doing? I don't know. That's edgy nowadays, though, to say that. I did a Comedy Central special where I called women crazy, and you thought I would have performed that whole special in blackface by the response I got. People lost their minds. They're like, you can't call women crazy. You're like, they are. I grew up with women. Crazy lives inside of them. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it estrogen or hormones, or you can call it chemical imbalance. What, call it whatever you want. I call it crazy. And they're like, don't call us crazy or we'll cut your d off. You're like, oh, that sounds stable. <laughs> but I won't apologize. I see you. I won't apologize. It's crazy. I believe that every woman uh, agrees. Every woman in here before has been in a bathroom alone. Like, why the f am I acting like this? Like, you know it's real. <laughs> You just don't like hearing a white guy say it into a microphone. That's what's bothering you. If Amy Schumer did this exact material, you'd be like, she gets us. <laughs> and it'd be at the key arena for $200. That's what would happen. <laughs> women are better people. That's why I think women are harder to make laugh because you're better people. I think that they're more ethical. They're definitely more maternal. They're more sensitive. They're more... No, just comparatively. I'm not saying women are perfect. I'm saying they're better than dudes. They like get a lot of, not, not sports for sure, but every other category. <laughs> That's all we really have. And even that you argue about, like, well, we're good. You're like, shut up, we would crush you if we, you know. <laughs> That's all we have on you, and you still try to fight. Like, well, uh, 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 Serena, what? shut up. We, we're way better. <laughs> if women and men were equal physically, there would be like co ed leagues, you know, and be like, men versus women, NFL. I, I'd love to watch that. <laughs> Just 100 years in a row, we're like, we're the champions again, the guys. <laughs> Wasn't even hard still. It was, feel just covered in broken bitches. Like, ah, ah, he broke my femur. It's, it's all we have. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bomb guy. Hey, go to Jim slap his protein shake out of his hand. Hey, go fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Totally acceptable, right? But with women, there's no line. They can just keep, just keep coming at you. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of like a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. They like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that. And I was so proud of my work, I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name. Susan did this and You're sitting like, now can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... Well, my mom is. She thinks I'm a loser because I'm not married yet. My dad's just like super jealous. <laughs> He's just, uh, he can't believe it. He's like, what? They told us we had to. How's he... How's he getting away with this? Uh, 
I, uh, like I said, man, I don't have a wife or a girlfriend or kids or nothing. Uh, that sounded negative. <laughs> what I meant is I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's weird when you're single at this age. When I was single a long time ago, people were so supportive of it. But now when I tell people I'm single, I'm in my 30s, and when I say that, people, they look at me like I lost a loved one or something. They're like, you married? I'm like, no. They're like, mm. Well, stick in there. Like, mm. like, no, I'm happy. And they're like, well. What do you mean, well? You don't even know. What are you talking about? I don't know. I think that you can be happy and single. You can be happy and married. You can be happy, rich. You can be happy, poor. You can be happiness has nothing to do with any of these other. Th you can be happiness is an inside job, right? Just because I'm not married doesn't mean I'm wandering the streets like, oh god. <laughs> oh, if I just had someone who would live in my house for free. <laughs> when will I have a chore list? <laughs> I wish I knew someone so well they were annoyed at the sound of my eating. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd ask another grown up when I could buy things. <laughs> I have a hundred more examples if you want. Uh, yeah. I wrote a lot of these with my free time. Uh, <laughs> no, marriage, marriage seems good, it just seems so long. That's my problem with it. Cause I've been in love before I was in love. She was the greatest of all time. She's like, I love you. I was like, I love you. She's like, you're my favorite. I was like, you're my favorite. I say whatever she said. Like, you're so hot. I was like, you're so hot. She's like, I want to marry you. I was like, I want to marry you. She's like, forever. And I was like, Ugh. Like, let's watch TV. That's the thing, man. The, just saying forever just now made me pit out a little bit. People say forever, like it's so, e oh yeah, forever, let's do it forever. You know how long forever is? That's so, that's now. Picture whatever you're doing now. And then death. That's all of that. That's that whole time, that's, e if you live to be 200, it even covers that. It's for all, it's the whole, every single. You know life in prison is only 30 years? That means even our own government's like, listen, he only killed a guy. Let's not take forever away from him. Just some stressful. I had a rough childhood because my parents aren't divorced. Yeah. Um, it was very hard to fit in at school. Everyone's like, oh, look who it is. It's old Jeffy Two Parents. And I was like, oh, it's, it's, they're breaking up soon, I promise. Okay. Anyway, my dad would pick me up from school. I'm like, I think mom's cheating on you. He's like, stop it. Trying to double up on those Christmas gifts. And <laughs> trying to get two bedrooms. <laughs> They're a cute couple. My parents have been married for 45 years. Yeah, yeah that's a long time. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell them you clapped. <laughs> They're not backstage or anything. Yeah. Men and women don't even look at marriage the same way. When women talk about marriage, it's a happy occasion. I'm getting married, I got my ring, I got my colors picked out, I got four of my fat friends to stand next to me. <laughs> but it's not the same for the men. When men talk about marriage with our friends, it sounds like something you get diagnosed with. <laughs> Did you hear what happened to Charles? <laughs> no, what? He's getting married. No! <laughs> I just seen him last week. <laughs> when did he find out? <laughs> she told him yesterday at dinner. Well, that wraps up this video. I don't need to go and be a dead horse, but I am going to go back and add in end cards for any videos that I've already had conversations on that's relevant to any particular joke. So anyways, if you guys did like, please do share, subscribe, comment down in the section below. If there is any kind of comedy special or comedians that I should definitely check out, like I said, this is a type of humor that I am into. I hope you guys enjoyed this compilation and I look forward to speaking again with you guys next time. Bye.